Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Attacker Productions. Today I bankrupt you once again by Jake and Tracy. What's going on, y'all? Hello, hello. And today's matchup is actually our finals. Both Jake and Tracy have gotten to the very end with two yellow decks. So you know this is going to be a, a very back and forth matchup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not blue on blue, come on, man. I mean, uh, but you have Mecha Frieza on Mecha Frieza. I mean, yeah. yeah but Mecha Frieza doesn't do anything against this I was deck. about to say. Yeah. Tracy is it, playing Dripker, which is the Unison deck, while Jake is playing Vegeta Trunks, which is the Battle Card Blocker deck. So, oh. let's get into today's matchup. Uh, speaking of Robotic Riposte, going into this matchup, I actually cited them all out in favor of a uh, the Piccolo counterplay. I think it's Demonic Presence. Um, it hits some... Unisons yeah. and Battle Cards, so it's a little bit more effective uh, against his deck than Robotic Riposte is. Yeah, this should have been a little bit more back and forth, but um, yeah, it, it was a really, really bad start for me. Um, I went ahead and played the Piccolo here because some some folks, some people won't hit him with two markers. They'll go ahead and go after the leader. So I wasn't sure which Jake would do, but he decided to go ahead and swing on the Piccolo. Well, based on what I had in my hand here, um, I had I knew I had a pretty good play line to kill it. And each time I kill the unison, that's just one less in power that you get. And that's really like the strength of this uh, drip coup deck is like constantly building up markers and gaining advantage that way. So I figured if I could battle you in that sort of arena, maybe I could get a little bit of advantage from it. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind losing the the first unison there because you know obviously on that swing I. I expect to put one in rest mode and get started that way, but that didn't happen. So I had to break out that guy just to get a unison on board. It's one of those things where I don't like wasting an energy turn one when I can establish something, but against certain decks that can go pretty wide pretty quick, you got to be careful, especially mm -hmm. since now you don't have a way of negating those attacks. Well, he didn't even swing at me. The first two That's what I'm saying. turns, he, yeah, he just goes after the unison. And I think, did I plus him here? I took, might have taken the draw because I figured he's gonna kill him anyways. I was like, he's gonna kill him anyways. I'm gonna get the draw from him before he goes off the board. I think it would benefit if you had a way of, um, but you would have to spend our energy. So it kind of makes yeah. sense. Like if yeah. th this way, it's not like a waste almost. Like you're getting a draw mm -hmm. out of it. You're you're trying to establish later in the match because yeah, if you would have paid another energy just to put another use on top of him. Jake could technically, like he did Awaken here, and then if he felt like he w just did knock it out of the park, mm -hmm. detach to give it double strike, right? Yeah, and yeah. that's uh, a classic, like, unison killer play with this Trunks Vegeta deck. It was I used it a lot back in the uh, days of, like, King Piccolo running the meta just to, like, rip two markers off of that King Piccolo unison. Or Piccolo Jr. Unison, excuse me. Now, real quick as a reminder, um, on that turn one swing, did you play the Trunks and then play the Vegeta off the Trunks? On turn one, yeah. you don't... You, you just draw a card on your Unawakened side, so I spit my energy on the Vegeta, grabbed the Trunks from deck, Sorry. Okay. and then swung with the Trunks and comboed a Trunks from hand to kill the Piccolo Unison. And then on my turn awakened swung with lead and played the trunks that i comboed with from the drop area to go get another vegeta okay i, I didn't know which one played in what in rest if it was the on play so one. when you play one with your swing it comes in in rest mode so i think this trunks right here maybe should be in rest mode you evolve but on top uh, of it when it evolves. yeah when you evolve on top of it it uh switches back to active so which is so great, because like, and, and it's like this when you can swing with it, and immediately if you want to bobber afterwards, it's back in active. It's like you never even bothered. Yeah. All you lose really is the cards from your hand that you combo up to make that one drop relevant. But I it, mean... In your but, benefit, it worked for you, because you were able to just play that card you comboed off anyways. Yeah. And I mean, back in TCG Con days like i killed a couple people with swinging with a one drop no negates and then just combo up to one hundred twenty thousand double strike you know in, in later turns
Yeah, on that turn two, I missed again. That's when I knew I was in trouble. Because I needed, I needed tyrannical blow. I had that in my deck, and I was, you know, that's a good one to to help um, help with that deck. But yeah, I, I missed. It was just that I knew I was in trouble. I knew this was going to be an uphill battle against his deck, anyways. And once I missed that second swing. It was uh, uphill from there. I find it interesting because you play like 18 to 20, right? Or 20. Do you play 21? Not, I play... No, I don't play that many. Uh, I play total of the one drops uh, 12. Mm. So you play yeah. a total of 16 uses. That's, that's actually... Total of 16. That's a little yeah. rough. I play a total of... I think, I think I play 19 or 20 in my overall deck. Of course, one of them yeah. is Mirrors, the secret rare one. Yeah. But yeah. I tech in the Krillins and uh, Teens because the additional effects they can um, give. I have, I'm going to add two more. I'm going to run with 53, add two more, and see how that, that feels. 53 is not a bad number for a deck that potentially pulls as, like, yeah. take a life and you potentially play a card off the top five. Yeah. Um, but this now, is this was Yeah, that played pretty much... I mean, it it hurt. It didn't. It, I don't think it hurt as much as... Um, me not pulling unisons on those swings because uh, I'm just going to... I mean, he's still just a blocker when I pass, but yeah, it, it does hurt. Um, Actually, it was a good play. I didn't see it coming in. If I recall, remind me, uh, Jake, does it blank the card coming in? Yeah, it'll come into play with no skills, so he won't be able to plus, and he actually won't get okay. benefited from empower. Um I knew this was going to be like a ruling issue, so as soon as I cast this Piccolo, we just preemptively called the judge. Yeah. Because this Piccolo is like such an uncommonly used card that uh, people don't really like know the way it interacts with stuff. Well, I was going to say, because he did put it at five markers, I'm like, it should, it should be at three, and I just wanted to make sure I knew that, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Empower is treated like an on-play auto, and since this Piccolo works in the green text, it doesn't have any autos when it comes into play. Yeah, and unfortunately, this pickle is not <clears throat> considered a god card because some pickles are, and um, if I recall correctly, some pickles are a god. Like, have the god tag? No, I think this one just has the. It, it, uh, it doesn't. It yeah. just the Mechian tag. Because I was building yeah. um, my new take on Great Priest, and I was trying to incorporate this particular card for um, Unison decks, and I was like, I can't. It doesn't have the tag. <laughs> So, Mecha Frieza is going to slow me down a lot here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try and get more value out of the few swings that I do have by playing this Turles. I'm just, like, again, pushing for unisons. I just realized how nasty that is. He negates with Mecha Frieza, Trunks meekly taps it, Vegeta's auto pops it. Yeah, so he doesn't get value, but... I do have to swing uh, with the Vegeta, which will force me to rest another thing. And here I'm just digging top seven for another uh, fusion to just draw another card, since I can't really advance my game plan anymore this turn. So here it is. And shout out to Fluff for uh, recommending this Bulma for me. Um, I only play it at one copy, but when you get bricked out and like, like don't have a lot of good actions, mm -hmm. like in this juncture right here, it's a great way to continue your turn for no energy. It initially gives you a ninth uh, turn one yeah. play in, initially because yeah. you can see you can start you to search your other one drops if you don't have them. Yeah, I think it's where you're playing the the truck stuff to me, so it was like okay. <laughs> yeah, so I still don't think I got it because I, I, from what I understood it, like if I play one card, it'll get rested. If I play another card, since you have two of them on there, it would get rested as well. That's the way I was. So what I'm yeah, what I'm explaining to you is that the the way it works in this particular turn is because I played a trunks, its effect triggered, and then played a new copy. I still had access to the effect for the rest of that turn because the second one wasn't on the board when the first effect triggered. However, going forward, since they're both on the table, mm -hmm. both effects will trigger on the same card coming in because they're the same effect, if that makes sense. Like, they both just happen. I can't choose not to do one. And yeah. since there's only one thing coming into play, 
they both have to hit the same thing. Now, in my matchup with Jimmy, he played two Demon Realm tokens, and mm-hmm. since they came into play at the same time, and I had two copies of Trunks, I could choose both of them, right? Yeah. Because they're both coming in at the exact same window. Yeah. But, uh, also, this because this deck has access to Poutine, that further complicates things, because Poutine only triggers when your opponent plays a card with a skill. So that mm-hmm. makes it even more complicated to play around. It's just fun overall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun, fun if you're the uh, person casting the trunks, yeah. I imagine yeah, it's yeah. not very fun to play yeah, through. Yeah, it, it's hard for me to get around that trunks. Um, Forbidden Powers, definitely what I had in there to, to help, but I never really got to use it. Um, if I'd have been drawing pretty good at the beginning, it would have given me a better shot, but um, that that was my own, that was my best bet right there, that, that uh, Son Goku. Yeah, this Dragon Fist is pretty scary because I yeah. can't, even though I have one energy up, which like mm-hmm. Robotic Repulse would be perfect here. I mean, yeah. I spoiled it that I've sided them out, but I couldn't use it here. You know, you can't super yeah. combo. There's a lot of issues. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was just digging. I was like, man, there's got to be a way I can do this. And I just, uh, I wish when that came in, I, I kind of wish I had a, um, uh, one of my pridefuls in hand. That would have been nice. But yeah, that would have been. But really again, good. not being able to draw those first two swings uh, made made the difference in the game for sure for me. Uh, but yeah, I was, and this is where I'm trying to think. Okay, how can I how can I get this swing through and then maybe drop something? I feel like I had something else I was thinking about putting down. Oh yeah, I've got the super combo. I brought him in um, the secret rare. Yeah, what you did not actually really surprised me. Yeah, I probably too early. I think I was trying to figure out how to get through the you know end it because I didn't have I didn't have anything. I didn't have another Frieza, um, and I was like, well, maybe I can just get through this, and maybe and then I could have swung with it to kill one of your brothers, but I didn't. <laughs> I think at that point I don't say I gave up, but I just I mean I have like five four or five cards in hand and i just felt like it was uh because when i swing i get the draw too so i just i, I don't know what i was thinking I, I think i was trying to figure out next turn more so than finishing this turn is what i was doing like that i should have saved that guy i don't know why i played that uh, sometimes when you're going for an end game scenario it's fine yeah. to just cast it for to draw the card and see if you get more combo power yeah but Unfortunately, I'm able to just final flash and take a single damage here. Yep. 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 Yeah, see, so I should have just swung, got another draw, but um, what I needed in hand is what I end up pulling a little bit later. Uh, what would have saved me maybe to the next turn, because you got me on the last swing, um, release from evil. I'd have one of those bad boys that at least would have helped. But I don't know. You still had those two blockers sitting up, too. So you could have swung again. Or no, no, no. I play a forbidden. Yeah, I play a forbidden. So you can only swing. Your unison's what gets me. Yeah. Yeah. So here I just go for Basil for some cheap pressure. Hoping yep. to get a negate out of hand. And there it is. It's like, oh, maybe I might make it through. <laughs> maybe. Swinging with the Secret Rare would have been beneficial, only because you can't combo it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so practically, you playing it on your turn and not following it up, even if though he could have just blocked it, like mm-hmm. so you you would have gotten a draw, um, mm-hmm. and you would have tapped on the other card. I mean, which wouldn't really done much, but mm-hmm. it could have established a card I see in your hand, which is Poutine, because you would turn the card in rest mode. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, him following up with this. Pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I figured if I did swing, I mean, and block, he's still got another blocker on board. And even if he does go through, I've got, I really didn't have anything left in my hand to play. I mean, he could have easily just taken a damage and I would have probably had a pass turn because I don't know if I had anything else to play. And even if I did, he still had two blockers. So um, just playing it out in my head, I just didn't see me getting through it. I did have the uh, freeze of reinforcements in hand, and I was like, okay, when do I use this? 
you know, I'm waiting for something, a double strike. Um, and once that unison hit, I knew as soon as I used it, he was going to, you know, rest it anyways. And I was taking the life, just hoping I would get something else that would, you know, maybe a freeze of something, but it didn't happen. I, I think the only benefit here would have been if you did hang on to the uh, secret rare, mm -hmm. you could have used that as a way to protect yourself from a hit, tap down another card, and then um, proc his effects. Because yeah. you haven't proc'd it yet, and you do, like you say, you have a Freeze's Reinforcement Army in your hand. The problem is that once you use that to negate an attack, never mind, I forgot about this card. Yeah, yeah. so he gets he gets through the Trunks effects here since it already comes into play in rest mode. Yeah. And uh, frees himself up to use this reinforcement yeah. of the army. Unfortunately, yeah. I still have the <laughs> plus zero on my unison. That's right. That's so I just switch it to rest and swing through. Yeah. Oh, yep, did you get that off the life? Yep, I got it off the life. That release from evil was off the life. <laughs> that would have that would have been but he still had those two blockers and he had a lot of cards in hand so he could have just kept he uh, couldn't swing anymore. No, he couldn't, yeah. no he couldn't swing anymore yeah so yeah there was yeah. i was thinking about it. there was no way around that it's just i got that release from evil just uh one swing too late but, yeah i was gonna combo everything and when i got up to 40 you said how much are you at i said 40 and you were like good game <laughs> yeah that was it i had nothing i had three three combo cards of five thousand a piece and the other two were unison so but yeah, it was it was a fun matchup. Um, I just gotta add a little more to unison to get a little better feel. But yeah, Tr Trunks Cheat is a tough deck to play, but it was a lot of fun. So with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. Congrats, Jake! I think you got the uh, Shadow Dragons uh, winner card. I did. Yeah, but that was nice. Congrats! Thank you, man. There's buttons down below. Feel free to come with there for a reason. I'm gonna pass it over to Jake. Uh, yeah. Um. I'm sure a lot of people who like watch the channel religiously are like sick of uh, watching me play this deck. So I promise I'll play something different next week for you guys. Uh, remember to read your cards and know your plays. Make let us make the mistakes so that you don't have to and fluff out. <laughs>